At 13 now, Travers, people who live by the old Navy base in the Ninth Ward say that they are losing hope. Yeah, the city began work to secure that site, but yet another fire was reported this weekend. WDSU Shay O'Connor joins us live in the Bywater. And Shay, people there say they're worried about the crime. That is absolutely correct, Travers and Gene. I mean, there is one security guard here at the very front entrance of the site. Uh, me and my photographer have been driving around the site to see if we can find any other guards. People, meanwhile, who live in this area tell me that with every fire and crime in the area, they're growing more and more weary. Shootings down there, what worse could happen? I mean, people are breaking in down here. I mean, they need a place to go, those homeless people but too much crime. Michael Anderson says he rents a property here in the Bywater. The old naval base has continued to be an eyesore and safety concern for him and his wife. My buddy was uh, sitting there getting his wallet out. Um, the guy punched my buddy in the face and put the gun back on me. It's a sentiment Sharissa shares. Just Sunday night, she says she and a friend were robbed at gunpoint here along North Rampart. She told me the suspect ran off towards the base. We were outside the house and uh, a man walked up behind me, uh, put a gun to my head, told me to give me, give him my money. And so I handed him over my purse. I told him I didn't have any cash. Councilman Freddie King says he's recently had to retrieve trash cans stolen from residents in the area and placed inside of the site. Since the sweep, uh, there's been a concern about the, the individuals who were living in, in the NSC building now more into the neighborhoods um, kind of hanging on the corner. The building has been abandoned since 2005 during Hurricane Katrina. Officials tell WDSU developer Joe Yeager recently signed a 99 year lease with the city to begin work renovating the property. Councilman King says he's spoken with Yeager on his plans and remains hopeful. He's renovating a project. I do know there are some 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 HUD dollars that's supposed to be available sometime next year. Now, the councilman did say that he's working to get more guards out to the site. Meanwhile, I did reach out to Joe Yeager. No response from him just yet. Now, NOPD does confirm that robbery that happened last night right in this area. With that being said, if you do know anything about the robbery, you're being urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. Reporting live, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. All right, Shay, thank you. We'll be sure to post any updates on this abandoned site online at WDSU.com.